Bismillah. In this video, we are going to explore classical conditioning. Now, classical conditioning referred to as learning to make involuntary response to a stimulus other than the original natural stimulus. This may sound complicated, but let's explore important words first. Uh, the two important words that you want to really understand is stimulus and response. Okay. Stimulus being perang, uh, rangsangan and response means tindak balas. Like for example, an example of stimulus would be the smell of nasi ayam. Okay. And the response would be that you would actually uh, salivate, teleok lah. Uh, okay. Bila bau nasi ayam contohnya, especially when you are hungry. So that is an example of stimulus and response. Per, apa, rangsangan dan tindak balas. Okay. Another example would be uh, uh, apa uh, stimulus would be extreme heat by the sun. That would be stimulus, and the response would be sweating. Ah, uh, that's another example of ah uh, like stimulus and response. So first, uh, first step is to understand the difference and what is stimulus and response. And then you go into this again. So let, let, let me read again. Uh, classical conditioning referred to as learning. Okay, remember change of behavior to make involuntary response. Okay, so here we are talking about involuntary response. Okay, involuntary response meaning to say that tindak balas yang you, we, uh, tak boleh dikawal. You cannot actually control it. For example, sweating. For example, blood circulation. Another example would be, uh, you know, breathing, contohnya, the normal breathing, eh? uh, involuntary response. These are among examples of involuntary response to a stimulus. So, so classical conditioning is making this involuntary response okay, uh, to actually react to a stimulus other than the original natural stimulus. Okay. Uh, so, please, ex uh, please note that natural stimulus are basically things that naturally happen smell of food you salivate that's natural okay uh, you know the the sun the heat of the sun and then make you sweat that is natural stimulus here the classical conditioning here is actually making that response to react to other than the natural stimulus for example here this is a very simple uh, picture okay uh, which we are going to explore in the next slide actually yeah so here first, okay, so this is the difference between stimulus and response. Stimulus refers to any object, event or experience that causes a response. For example, light shines. Uh, response would be a reaction of an organism. Uh, for example, the pupil shrink, anak mata mengecil. Bila ternampak cahaya, okay, anak mata akan mengecil. And we cannot control in particular this, eh? whether your uh, pupil actually shrink or, or expand, you cannot technically directly control this. Okay, So this is the different, the, the relationship between stimulus and response. Now, uh, I, I get back to this later. Yeah? Okay, so, so talking about this. Eh? Now, the founder is uh, Ivan Pavlov, which was a Russian physiologist, physiologist, eh? No, eh? not psychologist, physiology so she was originally a medical doctor first who accidentally studied the behavior of learning his uh, dogs okay so originally he wanted to study the digestive system of his dog okay however he noticed something else here so what ha what actually happened here let's explore so first and foremost uh, you know when the dog is presented with meat the dog would salivate Okay, so this is considered as unconditioned stimulus or the uh, natural stimulus like the, 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 the previous word that I use here. Natural stimulus here, uh, the technical term would be the unconditioned stimulus, belum deconditioned lagi. Okay, so it's natural. Lah. So this is a natural situation. When presented with food, uh, an organism would uh, salivate. Okay. And that salivation is considered as unconditioned response. Okay. So there are short terms here, eh? US and UCS. Okay. Uh, sorry, UCS and UCR, unconditioned stimulus and unconditioned response. And then, uh, uh, if tested, the ring of a bell here, there should not be any responses or no salivating. Lah. When hearing a bell, 
the dog wouldn't salivate. So this is considered as a neutral stimulus, a stimulus in which it doesn't cause any uh, or intended reaction that we wanted to uh, test, which is salivation. And then when we pair, this is when the conditioning happens. Okay, we pair. Okay, uh, that means showing of the meat, the food, as together with the sound of the bell, uh, will make the dog salivate. So this is pairing together. Okay, so the concept is to pair the sound of the pair, menghubung kaitkan. Okay, the sound of the bell to the uh, side of the, uh, the 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 food. Okay, so currently right now the dog is actually salivating because of the food as well, but at the same time it's trying to register the sound of the bell somehow relates with the the show of the uh, food. And then occasionally when this happens a lot and several times together, uh, the dog would actually salivate. Just by the sound of the bell, without the food, the dog would actually salivate. Okay? Uh, so when once this happens, this is considered as condition stimulus. Okay? That means it is conditioned already. This is conditioned to the meat already. Even though the meat is now not presented, uh, but the sound of the bell right now can actually make the dog salivate. So once this happens, it changes. The sound of the bell change now to condition stimulus and if the dog salivate to only the sound of the bell, then this salivation is now considered as condition response. So, yang lain tadi atas semua ni is unconditioned. Okay. So, that's what actually happened while uh, Pavlov is actually experimenting. Okay. While, you know, his assistant bringing food and then he noticed, eh, uh, okay, so there was a time whereby there was, there was several time when whereby the assistant bring food, the dog would salivate. But suddenly there was this one time whereby the assistant came in, even without the food, the dog already by the look, okay, by just looking at the assistant, even without the food, the dog already salivate. Uh, that's when uh, Pavlov noticed, hey, this is something actually strange there, and then he further investigated on that and formed. Uh, classical conditioning. So, there was a bit of a background of how classical conditioning was studied. Okay, so this is just using the term here. UCS would be the food, UCR would be salivating. So, this is the natural okay, setting here. Okay, to see the food and then salivate. This is natural and unconditioned there. And then the neutral stimulus would be the sound of the bell, okay, in which it is a stimulus that is not uh, making the response of salivating so that's why it's called neutral di tidak okay membuatkan uh, siapa-siapa uh, terliuk lah okay and then once it is paired together the food and the bell okay then it becomes uh, you know uh, the bell now then becomes condition stimulus when only hearing the bell uh, the dog would salivate and that salivating is now considered as condition response or CR so these are a few terms here and I hope that you can also design this. This is basically a practical tool to actually be used, okay, to other things as well. Okay, this is a classical example of pairing the sound of the bell with the food. This can also be paired with other things as well, yeah, right now. So, the process acquisition here is a concept, okay, referred to as repeated pairing of neutral stimulus and unconditioned stimulus. This is because the subject is in the process of acquiring learning. Uh, yeah, remember when I said it, uh, they're, they're actually pairing. The pairing happens when the pairing happens, like for example, the sound of the bell together with the side of the food. So once this is done two, three, you know, up to seven times or more, right? Uh, acquisition is actually happening. Okay, So uh, the organism is trying to acquire uh, the association between the meat and the uh, salivating okay so that process of nak penghubung kaitkan that is called acquisition now do you know you would like this dog before we would like this dog before when was it okay if you can recall okay there was a place whereby uh, certain at certain time there's a ring of a bell and then suddenly it makes you react to something what was where was that ring of the bell and what was your reaction at that time I believe there were two bells rang uh, okay, uh, the, du during this particular period here. And you know, we're, we're going to explore that inshallah in our discussion there. Now, uh, I'll stop. Yeah. Okay, uh, and I'll explore this in uh, the next video inshallah.